So spring is finally here, thank God. So we are going to do a day in my life vlog here in Tokyo, Japan. So spring is finally here, thank God. We are going out today, finally. I haven't been out in forever and I don't know if you guys get like this, but I'm the type of person who, if I don't go out for a really long time, I start getting social anxiety when I do go out. And since I haven't really been out too much in a while, besides going to job interviews, but I have to go out and I should feel the need to go out because cherry blossoms are blooming. They are in full bloom right now and I don't want to miss it again. Last year, you know, I didn't really get to see too many cherry blossoms because of, you know what? It's going to be a solo day in my life. I'm not going to be hanging out with anybody. Yuji is working right now. You know, until you live in an Asian country, you don't realize what a pain in the ass shoelaces are. Like they're so inconvenient. Like. Shoes need to not have buckles, not have shoelaces. Just all of them should just be slip on. Am I wrong? I don't think so. So even though spring is here, it's still quite cloudy outside. And I'm kind of bummed too because I wanted to go out yesterday, but I got really hung up on editing my video, spending way too long on it. Like some people say that it only takes them four hours to edit a video. And I'm like, how? How is that possible? I've been so meticulous recently, like beyond my normal level of meticulously, meticulously, and meticulousness, above my normal level of meticulousness. And even in my daily routine, I'm being like really anal about things. Like I'm like vacuuming every day. I'm doing laundry every day, which is something that's really not normal for me. Actually, I think it's becoming quite a problem I really don't know why I'm being like that. So I need to get out of the house. I think we're going now. Okay, so I can take this off. Nobody's here. Okay, so we are in Aoyama Cemetery. I'm finally here. Took me a little bit to get out. Actually, I've never been here, but this is supposed to be one of the better cherry blossom spots in Tokyo. Actually, like I've always kind of wondered about going here because I don't want to like film any of the gravestones with the names or anything out of respect, but um, nobody's here right now because it's raining, obviously. This is why I'm holding an umbrella. Nobody's here right now. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do my best to not film any names on the gravestones, but I just came here to look at the cherry blossoms. Oh, a little bit out of breath. And to be perfectly honest, I really like the way cemeteries look and feel. I know it kind of seems weird and creepy, but really beautiful. The thing I really like about cemeteries is that there's so much history here. And of course, death is sad, but you're just, I'm sure there's so many beautiful, great stories that each person has in this cemetery. Also, fun fact, Aoyama Cemetery it supposedly has 230 cherry blossom trees. funny because I was um, having a lesson with one of my students today and he told me that I need to come here and I was kind of hesitant because you know I just want to be respectful of the dead but he encouraged me to come 
and he's Japanese and he's an older Japanese man so he he didn't seem like there was a problem with me coming and it is a tourist destination so here I am and it is beautiful but it is definitely rainy Finally, it has stopped raining. Finally! So you know spring has started when it rains, but you're still hot. Like, that's definitely spring, summer. So actually, the good thing is, is that you don't really have to walk through the cemetery if you don't want to. There's a walkway that goes all the way from the beginning of the cemetery all the way to the end. It's a really beautiful street lined with cherry blossom trees. And the cherry blossom trees have been here for so long, they kind of canopy over the street. So it's really pretty. There's actually quite a few people here taking photos. And it just seems like a very go-to destination for cherry blossom. Also, there's a lot of cars that drive down here. And I can see the people inside, the passengers inside the cars are taking photos and driving really slowly. Oh, that lawnmower. So here's the map of the whole cemetery. It's it's huge, right? So they even have a little bit of a history here for any tourists that come. So if you're worried about going to a cemetery and disrespecting and you don't want to be disrespected towards Japanese culture, I think you can feel secure if you wanted to come here. I would just I would just not I would just wouldn't go like into like the grave area. Yeah, I wouldn't walk directly onto the plots of the graves. By all means, don't have a photo shoot in front of a gravestone, you know, just don't do the common sense things like common sense, common sense, right? Just a little bit. It said Aoyama Cemetery has been around for 140 years. So they are welcoming to tourists and to tourism, but just be respectful, use common sense. Also, don't smoke here. I saw and I saw some people here not foreigners, smoking two cigarettes, right in front of somebody's grave, ashen, real classy, real classy stuff. Guys, again, common sense, common sense. Okay, so before I leave the cemetery, I just give you a quick example of what's okay and what's not okay. Here is the walkway. This would be okay, but, and I'm not gonna shoot it, don't go onto the plot of the grave. No, 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 no. Hi, daijoubu. Hi, dame. cemetery I went to Aoyama flower market tea house which is a unique cafe that has the feeling of being in a greenhouse surrounded by fresh flowers and natural greenery they decorate the entire cafe with seasonal flowers and this season's flower was cherry blossoms now you guys know how much I hate doing voiceovers but the audio in the cafe was terrible I mean it was really bad I would like to buy better audio equipment to make better videos for you guys does YouTube pay me Yes, they do. Would you like to see how much I got paid last month? Yep, that's right, a whopping $10.70. And here's where I'm going to put a shameless plug for my PayPal account, which I have never done before. If you guys would like to support me and this channel, you can donate to my PayPal account. 
All donations will go directly back to entertaining content for you. When it comes to this channel, the most important thing is you and making content you guys enjoy. It really kills me when I have to do voiceovers because I feel like it takes away from the genuine content that is the essence of Tokyo, this channel. Anything is appreciated. And even if you guys can't donate, I totally get it. I understand. You can help this channel by liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. <laughs>